This is the Starship, and I'm here at Wizard World Chicago Comic Con 2012. We're gonna get interviews with all of your favorite heroes and villains, monsters, aliens, and everything in between. They call me the Starship, and all the action is blasting off right now. Cooper Girl, I am absolutely such a huge fan. You had to stop any villains from uh, causing trouble or anything of that nature? Fortunately, it's been pretty mild the last few days, so no trouble Excellent. yet. Excellent. Sick of fighting crime, just want to lay low and... Uh, and hang out with all of your fans, right? Yeah, I do like all the weapons. Very nice. Pick up anything new, look at one of these, I got a laser gun. You like that? You should get one of these, invest in laser technology. I'm looking for Zool, so we can bring about the coming of Gozer. And what happens when uh, Gozer comes? Well, the Traveler will come. And during the rectification of the Adronai, the Traveler came as a large and moving torp. Then, during the third reconciliation of the last of McKendrick's supplicants, they chose a new form for him, that of a giant slur. And many shoves and zoos knew what it was to be roasted in the depths of slur that day, I can tell you. I'm looking for humans. Really? Yes. Came armed with one of those fetty tricorders. Problem is, is I haven't found any humans yet. I've been scanning people left, right, and sideways. Yeah, yeah and I'm an alien. I don't know. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's tough around here. There's a lot of aliens, monsters, things like that. Um, get any, uh, picking anything strange up for me? We should see a doctor soon. <laughs> the doctor, the starship. So cool to see you finally in person. And I see you're here with not only uh, the TARDIS but also Oleg. What's going on, you guys? Are you just like? Stopping her from from annihilating and exterminating everybody here. Ceasefire, ceasefire from Cease the fire? convention. Okay, yeah, that's good. good. That's good. Cease it's fire. a new well, era of peace between the Doctor and the Daleks. Fantastic. I married that one. <laughs> really? I did. Excellent. <laughs> wow. That's a little bit of fan fiction that I think I need to come out there. Excellent. You enjoying your convention so far? You know, I am enjoying it, but I could have sworn I took care of Captain America. I keep thinking I see him. I keep thinking I see him. He's time I go in there. Maybe there's something in the water. It might be a hallucination of some sort. You know, I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot. But what is going on? What brings you all the way to the Wizard World Con today? Well, besides my usual eco activism, I heard Batman was zooming around. I need to pay him a visit this time around. This is the mutant breeding ground right here. You've got X-Men here, you've got mutants, you've got superheroes, you've got everybody. This is true. This is this is the family, this is the it's brethren. The hotbed crossover hotspot, I think. It is. Exactly. Marvel and DC <laughs> mix so well here. Anything uh, crazy happened so far at the convention for you? What's the craziest moment of the convention? You know what? It's going to have to be the costume contest of yesterday. Oh, yeah. The Halo soldiers came up, he tripped his partner, and teabagged him on stage. Awesome. That is incredible. You don't see that every day, right? No, right. no. That's all. why you got to come out of these things, right? Come on, guys. Moments like that. Of course. Really. What brings you guys out to Wizard World, Chicago? Anything happening in the dark side of the force that you know about? No, uh, my master has my lips sealed. I can't discuss our current objective. Well, hopefully it involves taking over this entire city because I think with you guys in charge, we'd have a lot better time. You know what I'm saying? True dead. Have you guys taken anybody out today? Have you had to put anybody in their place? Anybody causing any mayhem? Not yet, no, no. no. Not yet. It's been, been pretty calm? It's been uh, pretty clear today, so. We, I heard that Bane might make an appearance, so we gotta watch him, and a certain Harley Quinn, so we're on the lookout. Just be careful not to touch him, all right? I don't need you absorbing anything that that guy's got. No, no, well, if I need a strength, I might. And you, look at the weaponry you have here. Can you uh, get a little shot of that? Can you hold that up for us? We can kind of see what you got going. Oh, fantastic. And I love what you have going on here. I think cybernetic enhancements are a necessary component to any modern lifestyle. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, your eye, does it help you uh, see things a little bit more clearly? Do you have any, uh, you know, electromagnetic spectrum or anything you see in another dimension with that? Um, I actually have, um, have quite a few visions, but I can do some x-ray vision and I can't always control sometimes, so it gets a little, uh, you know, off at the con. But. Excellent. Yeah. It's never, you never know, sometimes your x-ray vision just turns on randomly and all of a sudden you're yeah. seeing all these fine people in uh, the nude. Nova, can I get a moment of your time? Sure. It's the Starship. I'm here with GeekPlanetOnline.com. I'm interviewing all my favorite heroes and villains is and aliens. Taser? This is this is uh this actually is uh it reads a highly erotic energy signals, oh. which is how I found you actually. Oh, I'm horny, baby. I just want to get some love, and you know, baby. Well, who doesn't? Yeah. Who doesn't? <laughs> can I take a can I take a peek behind the curtain? Oh, come on, baby. Of course. You can. Oh! oh
Oh. I got a mangina! What's going on? Any mayhem happening? Where's Mr. J? Oh, Mr. J is still recovering from last night, so... <laughs> is there anything, a heist or anything you're preparing here? Are you trying to take all the people here in Chicago out? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't really work now, would it? That's true. Don't worry. You can have a, you know, you can tell me and just know that I'm not going to spoil your plan, all right? I'm an unbiased third party. I'm not even from this planet, so you know what? If it's okay with you, you can tell me, and I won't even tell Batman, I promise. Let's just say it involves a lot of balloons and a lot of pain. You know, I had to make sure Chicago wasn't full of deadites. Excellent. I was going to say, I've seen... Down downtown, a few uh, lurking, lurking oh, demons here and there. I've caught a couple here yeah, and there. Yeah. Just let anything crazy going on at the con here. Have you had to take out anybody with your chainsaw or your boomstick? Of course I have. Excellent. Looks fantastic. Oh, thank you. You never leave home without it. Of course not. In this day and age, you can never be too careful. What brings you all the way out here to Chicago today from Gotham City? I'm keeping an eye on uh, this group right here. Excellent. There's a lot of villains. Yeah, yeah. But you brought them out here to celebrate the, the action, show all the kids a good time, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Excellent. They're doing community service, and I'm just watching over them. Well, most I'm here to promote a new charity endeavor that I'm involved in. Really? Let's hear about that. Yeah. I'm about to go on a 15,000-mile road trip to visit at least one children's hospital in every one of the 48 continental United States, as well as a few in Canada. Really? That's fantastic. That's like heartwarming, actually. That's my job. Wow. Yeah, well, you are a true hero, actually. Well, I personally believe that it's the most important job of any hero, not so much to save everyone directly, but inspire them to save themselves. Well, we're here promoting Gorilla Tango Burlesque, which is like parody sort of nerdlesque. So we have shows based upon Batman, Indiana Jones, Power Rangers. We have a zombie one coming out soon, a new Star Wars one coming out in November. So it's really Man, exciting. Fantastic. You guys, I'm a huge fan. Absolutely great to see you guys here. You look great. And we got to play uh, immediately following the captain's panel, which is really cool. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. Which is pretty much our key audience. Oh, of yes. course, of course. The, the, the next uh, release we're going to have is a five song Trouble with Tribbles EP. Uh, oh, where my God. I all, got it. All, 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 fi all five members, including myself, the drummer, are all writing, writing one for the episode. And people can check you guys out where? Fiveyearmission.net. Dot net. Excellent. Oh, so we see your sword action there. We got a little hat. Whoa! This is very dangerous. I like that. Yeah. This is not a toy, by it's, the way. It's how you handle it, by the way. It's yeah. not necessarily the, the girth, it's how you thrust yeah, it. Exactly. Right? Because yeah. you, you can either disappoint or start a war. <laughs> I love what you got going on here. Does this give you any extra special uh, mental powers or uh, anything of that nature? Or you have telekinesis or anything like that? I don't think so. Have you ever tried? You just got to concentrate really hard. Okay. Don't blow up anybody's brains or minds, though. So I see some skulls exploding. All right, I don't think it worked. No? So what's the craziest thing that's happened to the convention for you guys? Um, probably this. <laughs> well, excellent. That's fantastic. Are you looking forward to any panels or anything else later? Um, we're just uh, getting used to what's here. We're looking around just for the first time. Just enjoying the sights. Don't they have some cool stuff? I it's mean, everything amazing. from the vendors to like, I mean, some of the swag I've never seen some it's stuff amazing. so cool. Yeah. So much to look at, so little time. You can always, what you do is, wait till the end of the day, hop in the TARDIS, go back in the morning, <laughs> and see it all again. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? I should have. <laughs> but I can't cross my own timeline. That's true. This is true. <laughs> What's the craziest thing that's happened uh, at the convention for you? Craziest thing that's happened at the convention is I saw Bane walking around asking for free hugs. What? That guy, he's going to break everybody's back in this entire place. I think I need to go retrain him again. I think you might need to. Craziest thing that's happened at the convention so far? Being stuck in one spot for about two hours for fake pictures. Well, I bet you can have a cure for that. Just give him one of those force blasts, whip out the lightsaber, start chopping people in half. Oh, I'm sorry, maybe that's too soon? Actually, yeah, Dr. Doom. Even though he's a Marvel character, he's here somewhere, and uh, I actually had a fight with him last uh, yesterday. I would have loved to have seen that. Yeah. Excellent. I bet you could just kick Doom. Oh, of right, course. In the, right in the metal face. I did kick him there and it did not do much, but somehow I took him down. Well, I, I had some help. I'm sure you had something in your in your utility belt here that could stop that guy. Yeah, yeah, probably. Excellent. If I mix mix and match all my stuff. <laughs> you know, I was walked into this weird photo phone booth and suddenly I was just somewhere else. It well, was so strange. It was just I wanted to make a phone call and And poof. Yeah. And now you're here. Well, it's great to finally see you in person. Good to have you here at Wizard World. Craziest thing has happened at the convention for you. That's gonna scare me. You don't want to take that off. You definitely don't want to touch 
me without the gloves on because I have some things that you're probably not going to want to absorb. Oh, I love what you've done with your hair. It's gorgeous. I really lo love the flowers. You know, it's just, you just think happy thoughts and then just sprout up or what? It's happy thoughts, a little bit of gardening here and there. It's what's ever in season, usually. Excellent. I see you've done some things around the exterior of the convention center. I've seen some fresh flowers and things like that today. It thank, needed to be done. Thank you for making uh, the world, this planet, more beautiful. Well, really you're appreciate very, it. very welcome. I asked you for a kiss on the cheek, but I don't want to be hallucinating for the next three days. I think you already are. I've always wanted to meet you. This is fantastic. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, sweetie. Excellent. Would you like to get, um, I don't know, some Baileys or something? Oh, baby, I've been drinking Baileys all day. If you got That's some, excellent. I'd be more than happy to well, drink Well, I got some, some back, in, uh, back in the hotel room in a shoe. Oh, I would love it. Excellent. Maybe we go to a couple people we on each other afterwards, baby. Yeah, it's been a crazy weekend. So, What's, are you looking forward to anything? Uh, later at the con, what's uh, on the um, schedule for today for you? I still get a, a chance at Stanley. We'll see. Okay. Excellent. How about you? Um, just hanging out and taking pictures with everybody. Excellent. I didn't get to meet Stanley yesterday, so it was pretty nice. So, uh, looking forward to any panels, meeting any celebs this weekend? I was really looking forward to Stanley. Stan Lee. Anything else you're looking forward to at the convention? Um, uh, meeting Stan Lee. Stan After the, the Avengers hero. movie, he just, pfft, that was it. Yeah. This Over is the it, best time right? to meet him. If I could meet Stan Lee, that would be just wonderful, even uh. though he's not from my universe. I saw Stan Lee. Stan Lee. Still a fan. One of my all-time <laughs> heroes. That man is so cool. I mean, it would be nice if I ran into Stan Lee, but yeah. he's a busy man. But I ran into my favorite celebrity right here. Aww, so you're gonna uh, warm my yeah, heart, go, Baron. Go, go Aww. Well, I'm gonna go meet James Hong, cause... Oh, yeah. yeah. James Hong, Big Trouble Little China. Of course, oh, no God, pan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely so cool. Thanks so much, it's so good to see you and meet you. I'm gonna do one of these, oh, yes! Yeah. Woo. And don't forget, shop smart. Shop at smart. You talk to your mother with that voice. Well, it's so great to run into you here. Have a great con, and okay. hope to see you again soon. And good luck with the whole bringing about the apocalyptic destruction of the Thanks. planet. Thanks! Yes, indeed. You will perish in flames! Ah. Geek Planet Online. Bam! Look at that! Uh-huh. And I love it too because you're, we're both shiny. I'm a, I got my silver, my silver crop. I think area. I should have had your pants on today. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I think we should have hey, switched. Hey, Colossus, quit trying to get in my pants. I'm sorry. Right? I'm sorry. They're All nice right. pants.